Hi, it's Ian Trainer here. Let's create a stunning e-cover using my Cheat Cut e-cover wizard. Very easy to do. First of all, we select a template that we want to use. There's a huge range of templates in here. Uh, let's just come back and use this one. Just click on Apply. And it's there. Now, we can put a background image in if we want. I'll show you how to do that later. But let's, for the time being, just leave it as a white background. You can change the color of any of these parameters just by clicking on the color buttons that you'll see around the application, and it brings up a color picker like this. OK, let's move on. Let's add an image for the front cover. So we'll just bring that down there, and that's the one we're going to use. Now a side cover. And a top cover. We might want to have a, a disk image somewhere, so we'll just put a, a disk image now. We can see the effect of it later. Um, I'm just going to change these shading and highlight parameters so that we've got a nice clear box to look at and I'm going to change this uh, parameter here to 400 so we've got a nice square shape that we're building our box in. Now that basically is that that's all you need to do but now you can start to refine it. Let's start by refine it, refining the reflection. We want a little that this is the reflection down here. Let's just bring it down a little bit. That's better. Um, we can have it not fading if you want so you've got a nice a very sharp image, but I think it looks better if it's faded. Um, we can change the blurring of the reflections, or the brightness, or even how opaque it is. Okay, we can also do this same thing with the shadows. Um, we can increase the density of the shadow, or de reduce it. That's this shadow here. If we bring it down right here, it comes almost invisible, especially if we increase the blurring on it. So we can play around with the shadow. Uh, if we don't want a shadow, all we need to do is just untick the box here, and we've got no shadow. Um, I always like to record everything at uh, 300 dots per inch, and you can reduce the quality when you put it on your website. But start with a high quality image. Okay, we can have a look at, at this. Now we've got this sort of basic design, we can actually change um, the, the template without having to mess around in this area at all. All of these images are now in this current um, working area. Uh, membership cards. Again, you need to create a slightly different shape of, of um, image for that. Uh, just a disk on its own. Now you notice there's a big area here that's covering up part of the image. So in fact, we just tick on this box down here and it gives us enough space to put the, more writing on it. And let's have, just have a look at what else is left. We've got a, a CD box. You'll notice that that small hole has been retained. We've got that large disk area still ticked there. And we've got a DVD box. Another CD box. Okay, let's just go back to the original one that we had. I'll just show you something else. Um, it's very easy to actually create a background that will go on here. So if we select, if we created a background earlier, and it's very quick to, to do this sort of background, let me just pull this over, you can see it. This sort of background takes about five minutes to prepare in uh, GIMP, for example, or Paint Shop Pro or whatever. Uh, and look at the effect it's going to have. So there's another option. You can change the backgrounds very easily. Well, I think that's just about all you need to see. Um, just change that back again. Change it to white and OK. And we've got the white background back. So that's all there is to it. Very easy to use, very quick to use. All you need to do is to prepare a few front covers, which you have to do with any uh, e-cover software, um, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from this.